23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Danielle Kernkamp. Here's a look at what we're following on this Thursday. While millions across the country will be voting by mail to help limit public contact due to the pandemic, there's still hesitation by some voters. Democrats are expected to be turning out in higher numbers compared to Republicans. According to the data firm Target Smart, Democrats have cast about 51% of the early votes compared to 38% by Republicans. 23 ABC spoke with political analyst Alan Bolar, who says rhetoric by the president has led to members of the Republican Party questioning the validity of mail-in voting. The Republican Party is going to be sending mail voter ballot applications to its voters. But on the other hand, the top of its ticket is saying that you can't trust the mail-in voting. Bowler also says Republicans will mostly vote in other traditional ways, like in person at the polls on Election Day. He also said when a party's base votes early, it allows that party to focus their campaign calls and mailers on a smaller set of people who have not voted. And we will bring you tonight's presidential debate right here on 23 ABC. Coverage starts at 5 p.m. and the debate gets started at 6. That means we will not have a 5, 6 or 7 p.m. newscast on the air. You can watch our 5 p.m. digital newscast on our social media platforms. We're scheduled for a special edition newscast at 9 p.m. following Shark Tank. Now for a check of your Thursday forecast with Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. Hey, good morning. So with that high pressure still in control, we are in the 80s for one more day. And then tomorrow we watch that low get more defined, move closer to the shoreline, means some 70s for us by Saturday. Those winds pick up a little bit more. You see some cooler air thanks to that low coming into the area. So not only do temperatures continue to fall, we should see that air quality index falling as well. And then by Sunday, that low has dropped into this trough here. So you see it's dragging down that much colder Canadian air right into Kern County, dropping temperatures way down, increasing the winds cooling us down and creating that better air quality too, which we love. Not really a chance of rain though here in Kern County. So with the concerns for the winds, some blowing dust and debris as possible this weekend, like palm fronds that come off of trees getting blown around and also the potential for some falling trees and down power lines as a result. Look at those temperatures though, 70s tomorrow into Saturday, 60s, coolest since April coming early next week. Sounds good, Elena. Thank you. That's going to do it for this update. Enjoy your Thursday.